In the beginning, the world was subjugated by chaos. Then, the Keepers came to be Torchbearer, Shaper, and Judge. The three fought the spawn of chaos, and ultimately, they prevailed. Chaos could be banished, but it could not be destroyed. So the Keepers weaved a veil with their own essence and stood guard. The world was now safe, but it was also empty and meaningless. Thus, the Keepers reached beyond the veil. They seized the power of chaos itself. They gave it shape and purpose. They created life, and man was their most perfect creation. But all life would eventually hear the call from beyond the veil. Thus it happened that, alongside life, death also came to the world. The great cycle was set in motion. Yet chaos hungered for more and sought to undo the Keeper's creation. The spawn of chaos struck, wounding the Keepers and tearing the veil. Endless droves of horrors trespassed into the world. And so came the solstice of souls. Hurt and weak, the Keepers charged man with defending the world. They inspired man to fight fire with fire, ferocity with ferocity. Driven by the infinite wisdom of the Keepers, man turned the very power of chaos against it. Through sacrifice and resolve, a breed of sacred warriors was created. Three were wounds in the essence of the Keepers. Three the mighty battles fought and won by the champions of man. Three the sacred cities that were built in those hallowed places. Eventually, the solstice of souls was put to an end. The three cities still stand to this day for the glory of the Keepers. While the memory of the sacred warriors has been lost to time. But while the mortal body must perish, that which is immortal is bound to be reborn. Too enthusiastic. Someone here is more than eager to welcome us.
The Order set a small tear. Not that the world's veil ripped apart. Look, there, above the cathedral. Ilden. One of the three capitals. The seat of the torchbearer. Once the light of the kingdom. Now it burns. I can't do this. Why the others and us here with the other chimeras? I'm not ready. We are not ready. To them, we are just fire and loot. The outcasts. I see. This is our chance to prove ourselves. We can't waste it. Anyway, uh, we're late. Can you sense the others? The echo of the dead is just too strong. It dulls my senses. Loot, you need to focus. Let's look for our observer. He should be able to tell us more of what transpired here. Then we best find him quickly. Judge's mercy, then. Sister! What was that? I felt the tear itself. It's growing. must perish. That which is immortal is bound to be reborn. But the Shaper had no hand in your creation. Did he, sweet sisters? This is all part of the Keeper's grand design. The 
cleansing fire of the torchbearer. The judges m A chance for the Shaper to craft this city anew. Isn't it sacrilege for any but the bishops to get? True, but most of the clergy here are dead. So I doubt they might. Though, something else piqued my curiosity. We did. Tell me about it. Did you manage to track its source? It originated from the cathedral, but... I was conferring with your nut, but I suppose it's too much to expect silence from you, isn't it? Judge, have mercy on me. I sense the two other chimeras. I think they're dead. Dead because of someone or something they were fighting against. The shock all was a result of their clash. Then they were all gone. It is most troubling yes our predicament just got a lot worse the order of the ashen blade sent word that reinforcements are on the way my good friend corvo here brought the good news meanwhile we are ordered to continue to follow the plan empty words so let your actions fill them with meaning stay alive and look for the other chimeras or what's left of Impressive contraption. Couldn't have just made a normal bridge. That one is damaged, but the others are intact. Reinforcements. We're on our own in there. blocked. There must be another way into the city. Expect to see you here in Elman. I'm Lute, and this is Priya, my sister. I know who you are, and I know that you're not up to the challenge that awaits you. 
We didn't exactly volunteer for this mission, you know. I am well aware of it. You are not just lambs sent to the slaughter. You're no ordinary chimera. And that makes things much more complicated. Care to explain? As I said, I know who you are. What you are, Briar. A corrupted? You may as well say it plainly. Sister, I don't think that Sir Donovan meant it. I know how burdensome gossip can become, believe me. But your condition, it implies that you both carry a grave responsibility. Is this about the tear in the sky? Exactly. It drives a spawn of chaos to trespass into our world. But it also calls to us chimeras. And the call must be especially strong for you two. You must be careful. But you won't meet death, but transcendence. Losing yourself to the chaos coursing through you. So it's true. Not just some sort of legend to scare the troops. For us chimeras, it's a fate far worse than death itself. Is that what happened to those who came before us? Let us hope they simply passed away. Now, we should get back to the mission. We need to clear the way ahead. I suggest that we split up to cover it all. For the rest of the reinforcements joining you? The reinforcements? Yes. Agreed. We will meet again within the walls. Torchbearer, light your pot. Thank you, sir. We will do our best. training. like we did.
looked. What was that? <sighs> My head. Please be still. You need to recover. That was a strong threat we faced. And may yet face again. Don't bite your tongue to spare me. I took a risk. I know it. Donovan warned us. What if we had transcended? We didn't. That power saved us, Loot. Donovan said that it was dangerous. I say we will be. I can learn to control it, Loot. I am sure that you will do your best, sister. But tell me, when you passed out, do you remember anything? I was caught in a nightmare. I was home before. You were still alive, Loot. I'd almost forgotten it. The Oak Meadow. You were there? Inside my mind? I was with you. I saw what you felt. We bear our pain different. And yours runs deeper than even you know. You need not bear it alone. Some things are my own. Some things you should not have to see. Sister. Anyway, we have wasted enough time already, Loot. Seal ourselves for battle. Good. They'll see what I... What we are capable of. You're with me? Always. Show yourselves, you wretched. Sisters, it seems you're not dead. If I had been able to place a bet, I would have lost. Crows, alas, are poor company for a betting man, and worse for conversation. I don't understand where this is going, but I doubt I'll like it. Come, regale me with a tale about the formidable possessed you face. You were watching. I am. An observer, after all. Anyway, it looked like it might not go your way for a moment. It was not easy, but we prevailed. I wonder what happened that turned the battle in your favor. Not everything can be learned in Duran's training grounds. It's hard, but we learn quickly. Or you're just running faster towards your inevitable demise. You met Sir Donovan the Shade Lord. Yes. Scouting ahead before the rest of the reinforcement. Has he not reported to you? No. Not. He's a veteran. He doesn't answer to a dear observer. I suppose you envy him, bro. A battle hardened knight. Alone. Follow him in battle. But remember, you do answer to me. display of power. Did you even dispose of them? We were just having some fun. Anyway, I know they got blasted when they lie dead beneath the rubble.
Your wounds. They are healing so fast. Seems like it. But I'd like to know what hit us in the first place. I think it's going to consume the city before we can stop it. I hope not. But the bigger it gets, the stronger its power. Whatever attacked it, it must feed on the... Swimming in armor is not much fun. Some luck at last. Let's go. Please finish what you started, if you can. Don't you doubt us. They were just lucky. So you better be. Be what? You do as I say. You know why we're here. Ha! Your obsession with the other one, yes. How will you make that? Shut up, fools. You dare insult us! Sister, it must be them. And I still can't sense their aura. Hey, you two! Did we interrupt something? Just kill him. <laughs> we'll play with our new toys. See how strong they are. You'll find out. <laughs> then maybe you can join us. You want to, we know it. Never! They're useless. Destroy them quickly, then find me. Quickly? No. We need to see what this new body can do. Every kind of pain you can inflict. Don't die too soon, but do scream. <laughs>
We have to face them. We've no choice. We make our stand here. We use all the power we have, understand? That's what they want. What if we lose control? What if we transcend? If that's what it takes, so be it. We'll take them down with us, I swear to the Keepers. I'm with you, sister. Don't have mercy. No mercy for the yellow. Only kind. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Show us what you've got. We offer you one thing. An exciting death. Exciting for us.
defeat it. Donovan! Sir! Please, there's no need to fight. Loot? We're back. Briar's fight. Then we can lower Briar. She needed to focus her rage. Oh. And you know an awful lot about my blood, don't you? I know now. Shadeless. I remember. You were there. So, it finally came to your mind, bro. You were ready to put me down, weren't you? Why did you hesitate? It's your fault. What I did to loot was on you. It's because of you. Sis. Briar, I owe you an apology. Do not apologize. We're not done here. We need to talk. No. Our swords will do the talk. Very well. I've never been good with words anyway. But know one thing. I won't make this easy for you. I wouldn't ask for anything less. Satisfied now? No, but Lou's right. Things are not as easy as they look, bro. If you ever find yourself in my position, you shall face some tough choices. Do you have nothing to offer but platted? Sister. I came here to save you. We can't understand why they sent us on. We're doing everything we can. You're getting stronger, that's clear. And you still have untapped potential. But the more you express it, and do you have any wisdom to impart in that regard? I am not here to chastise you. You must learn that yourself. But you saw what happened to your comrade. Did you know they had transcended? I needed to ascertain that. Clearly, there's no more room for doubt. What I meant to say... That you should have transcended as well by... No scholar of the Order could explain why you have not. Briar is different from the other knight. She is. <laughs> I know where this is going. Stronger or not, we've needed your help twice already. I don't know if I'll be able to assist you again. Listen, I am stronger and more experienced, but I may not have what it takes to see this through. And we do. Only time and your resolve will tell But you have to take responsibility for your power. Understood. <laughs> we will not break your trust, Donovan. I promise. Now go. You've not made this easy for me either. May the Shaper guide your hand. I never imagined anything like this. All those crystals and ice. Hightown is completely in their grip. The ice seems stable enough. This could be quite the shortcut. It will be quicker, but I doubt it will be safer. 
We left safety behind once we set foot here. Come on. We should have gone far enough. We can get back to the streets. Pity. I was enjoying myself. It's time that we get some answers. protected them. If not for him, we would not have had this day. A warrior's death.
must be the crystal. She touched the remnant of another chimera. Took the full shock of it. Hold on, sister. The monastery, at last. The only way to the test. Prior, you woke up on your own. Are you angry? Of course I'm angry, Lute. But we already knew this sent us to, to know that we were manipulated. It sets me free somehow. No obedience, no fee- Now, where is that crave? Leighton, show yourself! Sister, please calm down. We only discovered one part of the truth. How can you be so calm about this? It was your life they took. They did this to you. If they hadn't, I would have lost. We are together. <sighs> but I do want the truth. So you're right. this mean? Lute, tell your sister to calm down before she does something she regret. It, it will be easier if you just answer our question. All we want is the truth. Did you know? Did you know that Dougal warped my memory? That he had me think I killed my own sister? Our rebirth, Leighton. All this time we are... Secrets. Lies. The very lifeblood that runs in the veins of the Ord. Blood that stains everyone and everything that it touches. But why did Dougal forge Briar's memory? To keep you both on a leash. That's how he treats his... You talk like you had no part in all this. You're just an accomplice. Believe me, my sins are many. But I had no part in your rebirth. I was still climbing up the ranks of the Order. So what do you know? Just that Dougal was intrigued at your discovery. Your nature. Your bond. So we were just a whim to him? Who knows what he thought he could accomplish with you. But then you proved just too fickle. You just weren't worth the effort. So you were... A failed experiment. Now I can see why we were given this mission. As for Armina and Jaden. I assume they were just out of luck. So you think that we were all sent here to die? With everything that we have discovered so far, I find it hard to deny now. Dougal just needed someone disposable to reclaim Ilden. But what did you do to earn your place here? Me? Oh, Lord Dougal wanted to reward my sir. It may sound baffling to you. The dare! Briar, Lute. We are not safe here. There's more to discuss, but this is not the place or time. How convenient. Just as you were about to reveal your hand. We will speak again soon. I and before you go... You we value the truth more than your drinking. You will have both. Now go. And may the three watch over you.
this elevator. There's no way out. I don't like it. As long as we're here, we're an easy target. Oh. What was that? Girl, why did he summon her? I'm not sure he did it on purpose. If this is bad, very bad, be on your guard, sister. Chaos be damned, loot. What is going on? The shade's aura, it permeates Donovan's completely. She's taking him over. I can barely sense him. Donovan, are you back in control? Prior, Lute, I tried to resist her, but even now... Your shade, was that... Hannah, this is all my fault. I can't understand. Are you even aware? What you've done. It was the only way he had us brought here. The relic hidden inside the cathedral. But the things you did, the things you said to you. There you are. You thought you could elude me, shadeless? Scurrying around the ruins of this useless dump like a cowardly mouse. But your time is gone. Slide back to oblivion and let her rise again. We have a whole new world to forge. As for the two of you, you're just worthless pawns, insignificant in the grand scheme of things. If you can keep up, you'll witness the dawn of our rule. Everything you fought to save will be destroyed. And 
you will suffer the same fate. <laughs> Congratulations are in order. I thought you were just a fraud, you know? But you've surprised me. Maybe I was wrong about you. Is there still hope for you to embrace your true self? You're insane! What are you rambling about? We are not here to parley with the likes of you. You're a monster! Such insolence. Do you even realize how powerful we've become? Can't you see that she made me a goddess? We will be divine beings among mortals. Perfect beyond human understanding. I even considered the possibility of saving your worthless lives. But no, you had the opportunity to be purified, and you squandered it. You know, one thing I cannot tolerate is a lack of gratitude. It is decided, then, you will die an impure being. Your suffering may actually take you close to your limit, and you may even taste perfection before you are slain, only to know that you will never be worthy.
You're not trying to stop me? No. I know that you're not lusting for power, but it will be up to us to help Donovan. Without this crystal, we are simply not strong enough to do it. Mm. Moreover, if not for the one we got from Jared and Jaden, we would have never found out the truth about our rebirth. There's still much we do not know. Maybe this will let us find out. I'm counting on you. Your Grace, the supplicants are here. The one tainted by corruption is away. Pardon my asking, Your Grace. We have never used a corrupted as a host for a living's. Do not doubt our purpose. Now hold her fast. O oh, mighty keepers of the cosmos, heed the call of your. Guide his hand in the realization of your grand desire. So long ago, you shielded us from the spawn of chaos. In our darkest hour, you sent your chimera so that they would protect us and deliver us from the evil that... But the vigil of the chimera... <laughs> Torchbearer, you who light the way and teach us virtue, walk alongside the supplicant I bring before you, and with her soul, ignite the sacred crystal I hold in my hand. <laughs> Judge! You who condemn the flaws of our mortality. With each step I make, cleanse the sins of these two souls and prepare them for their new existence. Shaper, you who bring forth the end to usher in a new beginning, bind these souls, shape them into an instrument, and have them rise again as a chimera of the Ashen Blade. <laughs> Well, the mortal body must perish. That which is immortal is bound to be reborn. No! No! They too fell to their own power. All is truly lost now. You're really sane again. We are. Oh, and apologies for whatever we may have just done to you. You transcended. You did it. There's no doubt about it. Nothing escapes the gaze of the Observer. But you're not telling Dougal, are you? I'm sure he would never expect this to happen. To his failed experiment? That's a way to put it. That said, it's good to have you back. I mean it. Come now. We have much to discuss. I must say, I'm truly impressed. What you accomplished is unprecedented in the history of the Ashen Blade. However, we're not the only ones to have overcome transcendence. Donovan did it as well. And this means that he can be saved, too. You're right, Loot. Enough pats on the back. We must reach him as soon as possible. And seal the dare. All your efforts will be for naught if we don't deal with what's overhead. I still can't understand how it could open in the first place. Or why here, of all places. 
Three the mighty battles fought and won by the champions of man. Three the sacred cities that were built in those hallowed places. By the canticle of the keepers. Again. Ilden is one of the sacred cities. It is. Which means that the solstice of souls was especially strong here. It must have left something behind. Something powerful enough. Donovan hinted at a relic hidden within the cathedral. He said that Dougal knew. Could it be something that the Transcended feel drawn to? Indeed. And you may hear that call yourself. It's good to know in advance, at least. Come, Loot. It's time for us to go. Don't let me keep you, sisters. I'll follow when it's safe. You know it's never going to be safe if we are involved. But perhaps that is a... Are you ready, Loot? Ready, and no longer afraid. We have been given another chance. Let's make it count. this and more. Yes, you won't give up. I'd be disappointed if it did. Now it's all turn. This is our fate, Loot. There's no escape from it now. That is not an option for me, Briar. And I know it's not for you either. It's time then. This ends now. We made it. Fire! Are you all right? The crystal in my chest. Something is wrong.
does it look like ours? Or is it actually the same? While the mot body must perish, <laughs> that which is immortal is bound to be reborn. Dougal must be stopped. He wants to create a new world, but he will only destroy the one we have. Sir Donovan! We're here to help, if you let us. Please hold on! There must be a way. It's too late now. <laughs> my Hannah and I, we are doomed. I did my best to lead you here. It was all I could do, in spite of all my strength and pride. I have always been but a broken tool in the hands of the Grand Master of the Ashen Blade. He even used me to perpetrate a lie about your rebirth. I... I am sorry. Donovan, it does not matter now. You must. It's crystal. It's falling apart. <laughs> I am sorry. I can't hold any longer. But you... Already... We are beyond redemption. I hope you can still give us oblivion. Then... Your true mission will begin.
We may learn something here. Stop! You don't belong here. You have no right to its memories. Not that it matters anyway. You'll all be gone soon. Father and I, you two, your wretched order, this world, and all its filth. There's just one last thing that I need to do. Father, I forgive you. You can rest now. I will relieve you of your burden. Do not resist. Do not oppose my will. No! Don't! There is no justice. There is nothing to gain in all this death. It is. But do not let her cruelty unnerve you. We must stop her, no matter what. <sighs> this feeling, for the first time, it feels like my fate is in my own hands. And with these very hands, I will crush you. You're crazy. You have brought forth your own destruction. You're just like Father. You always think you know better, but I am no fool. Unlike him, I am aware of the consequences of my own actions. My new body won't be able to contain this power for long, but long enough to put an end to everything, starting with you! The end is our only way out. 
you. You are just setting us free. While you remain trapped in your cage. Father, wait for me. Judge, forgive me. What happened? My head hurts and spins in equal measure. Ah. Ah. Briar! Loot! Is it you? It happened again. Yes. But do not worry for us, Nathan. Not for now, at least. How do you feel? Do you remember? The last thing I recall was Donovan making his way to the relic. Poor soul. I can't but feel pity for him. And even for his daughter. Anyway, then came a blast and I blacked out. I suppose that's when you... Transcended? Yes. Eventually. Once Hera gave in to the destruction within her, we had no other choice. Between death and transcendence, a chimera chooses death. Those sounded like wise words. At the time, it looks like I was the fool. But the dare, the dare is no more. How did you seal it? We didn't exactly seal it. We drained the relic of its power. So that now, that power lies within you. This fool. Our corrupted blind must be helping us contain it. We do not know exactly how, before how long, or what would happen if we turn back to our previous selves. The situation is dire, and the danger is great. Yet again, what you did, I can't but thank the Keepers for... No. I have to thank you for it. So what do you propose? What course of action should we take now? Hide. Survive. Try to... adapt to this new condition of yours. While you draw breath, there is still hope for this world and for Dougal's plan to be thwarted. The two things are strictly related. As for me, I will send word to Rhyme. I will set up my stage once more. They shall be surprised to see that I still stand. Or simply disappointed. Won't it be dangerous for you? They would come for me anyway. I'd rather be their first target, instead of you. I can buy you some time. If things go my way, I may even be able to help you. But I can't make any promises. At least promise that you'll be careful. I will.
May the Keepers watch over you, my friends. never see you again. The torchbearer led you back to me at a most convenient time. I have a very important message for you to deliver. There you go now. To rhyme. for a corrupted creature, and my instinct got the best of me. After all, who could roam these ruins, if not one that carries their taint? You must have a good reason to be here, alive. Cordelia? Cordelia the Reaper? I'm... Sorry, my lady, but the chimeras that came before you, they're no more. I'm afraid you're too late. Or maybe I was right on time. What lies did you write in that letter? Where are they? Don't be so reckless, my sweet reaper. Once the Torchbearer takes them, the dead can only tell us so much. I will have a friendly conversation with our devoted observer. Well, you give chase to Briar and Loot. They won't stand a chance, Your Grace. <clears throat> Approach them with that attitude, and you'll face the judge in no time. It's not time yet. Follow them. Learn what they're capable of. Then report back to me. As your grace commands. So, Leighton, I assume your letter was addressed to me. Speak then. What did you wish to tell the Grand Master of the Ashen Blade? You know that you were meant to die here, with all the others. Did you expect that I would fall for any of your pretentious tales? Let us speak the truth for once, then. They stopped you, Dougal. Admit it. The outcasts did what no one believed possible, including me. Those peasants did exceed my expectations, yes. But all they have accomplished is just a small setback. A detour from a path that cannot be abandoned. But why? What did you hope to accomplish here? You would not understand, or anyone else in your sanctimonious triarchy. But you do not need to. It suffices that you recite your beloved canticle. The three cities still stand to this day for the glory of the Keepers. Are those... Tears? I'm Adoran. And Rhyme? Dougal, you madman! What have you done? The solstice of souls is upon us. 